Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pokemon card live stream. How's it going everyone? I should sound different if you can't tell. I'm not running with a microphone. Normally I have this microphone plugged in. Let me show you. Oh, that's my lapel microphone and it makes me sound nicer when I'm talking. However, I forgot to charge my phone. So today we are plugged directly into the charger, something I've never done before and the microphone quality should be lower because the iPhone's microphone is really bad. <laughs> it's, well, in my opinion, it's pretty bad, pretty low quality. How's it going, Guessy Who? How is it going, everyone? Welcome back. How is it going? Are you all quarantined? <laughs> Are you all sitting back measuring your Pokemon cards, how many you have? <laughs> Should wait for the quarantine to go by or whatever? Man, there's so much in the news about the coronavirus. So all I do right now is watch the news. Me am confused. Well, hopefully I don't pull the phone down. Let me see. How quickly will this get pulled down? Hopefully I don't pull the phone down on this big cord here. Gage Stewart says, it doesn't sound bad. Other is better, but this isn't bad. USMC isn't in quarantine. She says, guys, guess what? Did I watch the video I posted? I don't think I did. Death Stalker says, did you plug it in now? Yes, the phone is currently plugged into a charger rather than having a microphone plugged into it. So in theory, we could have this live stream just go on for 24 hours. Guess who says in Discord? I think I did. I don't remember. A lot happens in 24 hours for me, Guess who. I can't remember what, what was in the video. Maybe if you remind me. Here, let me turn this up, by the way. I'm going to turn up my volume. So if anyone makes a purchase, we can hear it. How are things going for you guys? Are you ready for the Pokemon card live stream? Oh, it's about the coronavirus, I see. Coronavirus, man, 163 people died today in the United States from coronavirus. Jesus, that's actually a lot of people. Hopefully, we figure out how to, how to treat people with the virus very quickly. Yeah, I've heard that they're, they're doing all kinds of research and they're trying to figure out how to help people. So we got to figure that out fast so that the death toll falls. All right. Sneezing and coughing without covering your mouth is now illegal. <laughs> if only it was that easy. <laughs> Going outside is now illegal. <laughs> so we're going to start the stream off by filling in two energy cards for Hannah. Hannah bought two energy cards after the last live stream ended. One... Two. There we go. This is going to say Hannah on them. Hannah. Hannah. Saul Cruz says, my city is going to be under quarantine in about 50 minutes. Really? Man. Yeah. They're talking. How much did you say the stimulus is going to be? Six trillion? Yeah. My wife is telling me that the stimulus plan is going to be like six trillion dollars woof good time to not have a bunch of dollar bills because that's pro there's probably going to be some inflation if i had to guess probably there's going to be a little bit of inflation lot of me, me baby sounds good little bit of inflation imagine always being in debt we're going to be paying a little bit of interest just a little bit. Just a little bit. Do you guys remember toilet paper? I know. I, I haven't bought toilet paper in so long. People are panic buying all that toilet paper. Dark Lord Pongo says a concert he was going to is canceled. That sucks. Well, lucky for me, my lifestyle was already basically the quarantine lifestyle. I mean, I stayed at home and I just worked and I worked and I worked and I worked. And then when I was done working, I laid down on my couch or went to bed. So I already stay home all day long. I don't really go out. But man, it sucks. Don't like hearing. I don't like hearing that people are getting sick and dying. What is toilet paper? I use corn leaves. I know, right? People are going to need like videos on alternatives to toilet paper soon. I heard the toilet paper companies are actually not doing well. Just because a lot of toilet paper sold right away doesn't mean that people are using it at a faster rate. They're being more conservative with it. And also, apparently, people are installing bidets. 
We we got two cards. Template. He says, I haven't been in the streams lately. The Rainbow Six grind is real. No problem, man. You know, you can leave the stream running while you're playing Rainbow Six. Perfectly understandable. Yeah, man. I played uh, in the last day probably about nine hours of Doom and Monster Hunter combined. I've been gaming it up. My hands hurt. This hand, like this finger right here, just hurts for some reason. I don't know why. Ugh. Needs to, like, stretch it. I try to convince my wife to massage my hands. She won't do it. <laughs> She's over there playing Animal Crossing. Wait, you're not playing it right now, though. She played it all day earlier today, though. I punched my second monitor, so I can't have it open. Uh-oh. Hey, Temlet, have you had all the mandatory Corona tests? Wow, streaming without the microphone attached to my shirt is so different. I feel, like, freed almost. Like, I can move around. It's crazy. <laughs> I've been spraying my house down to get rid of the ants. They, they're mostly gone. The ants... They've uh, disappeared for a large part. It's kind of nice. Guessy Who says the vo voice quality is not that bad. Nice. So we got two tickets left, everyone. Two tickets and lotto number one begins for the Mew 2 and Mew. And then for the second lotto, the Mega Sableye Tyranitar. I think we have more tickets left for that one. Yeah, we're very close to the Mew 2 and Mew lotto. Mega Sableye Tyranitar has... I guess a bit more left, doesn't it? But it's getting there. It's more than halfway there. I'm army retired, so I'm just curious how that's going. That's terrible to hear, Temlet. What did Temlet say? We haven't, but sometimes in the other platoons, someone in the other platoons have the virus. Oh, that sucks. I wouldn't want to be part of that platoon right now. I'd be like, oh no, I'm going to have the virus. Put this over here. Close that up. Temla is going to come enforce martial law in California pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, everyone buying up all the uh, buying up all the guns and everything. Jesus, take away my guns. Well, I tell you guys what, I'm going to go ahead and get the stream started with opening some cards now. So. I'm going to be opening up more of these Shining Legends Premium Powers Collection boxes and going after those PSA 10 Shining Lugias. I believe we pulled two of them yesterday. Hey, there we go. Salt Cruz bought a ticket. That leaves one ticket left. One ticket left, and we can start raffling off the Mewtwo Mew. I'll simp for Gessy Chan. What? <laughs> Close that up. And we'll tape that down. That leaves a single card left. And that'll be Stratosphere. Sweet. Super sweet. All right. All right. We got it. Give it to Quip. <laughs> she wins. If she won, the problem is I'd just put it back in and be like, all right, we're going again. Did I just spell that wrong? I did. Here, let's, let's throw this energy card away. We'll try that again. I'm just going to write Strato down. It's easier. All right, good luck, everyone. We're gonna find out who wins the Mewtwo Mew PSA 10 Unified Minds card. That's the most second most valuable card in the Unified Minds set. It's a really lovely looking card, too. There we go. Oh, oof. Can't move the uh, phone around very well because of this extension cord. As long as the phone's charging, I guess. Here we go, what are we gonna see? <laughs> ha 
Whose card's getting deleted? Let's find out. That's a JC card? Oh, no. Unlucky. <laughs> but he could still win, so I shouldn't say that yet. Oh, the font's gonna... This extension cord's really weird. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna take this one right here. And we'll take this one as the second chance card. And we'll close it back up. Oof. So you guys stare at this one. I'm gonna empty out the lotto. Oops, all of them gotta come out. Sweet. Let's find out who the winner is. Let's find out who the winner is. Who do you guys think it is? Make your bets. So this one is the second chance card. It goes back in. Guessy who goes back in. All right. Good luck, guessy who. Dark Lord says it's going to be DL. Well, that'd be pretty interesting if it was. DL's like, I believe in karma. He keeps buying everyone energy cards. And the next one. All right. It's not double taped, so not a, not a second chance card. Mary Alice won the last lotto on a second chance card. Can you believe it? Extremely lucky. Here we go. So what kind of energy card is this? This is a... That's going to be fairy. So this is a fairy energy card. If you had fairy energy, this might be your card. Oh, man. DL did win. Congratulations, DL. DL doing the huge karma giving out lots of energy cards and winning the lotto despite it. <laughs> How many tickets do you think DL has actually given out at this point? He's buying tickets all over the place. Crazy, man. All right, DL's picking up the Mewtwo and Mew. Dude, that is actually very lucky. Here it is. Beautiful card. He's not here right now, DL. Somebody should go message him. Tell me one. Big oof for me. Ah, sorry, Temlet. Tell him you want it. Tell him to, to give it to you. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and I'll put this in the front here. Well, you know, it kind of hides it when it's in the front. Let's put it in the back. All right. So Temlet won the Mewtwo and Mew. Which means we can start the next lotto. What's it going to be? Guzzlord. Ooh, should I keep this Guzzlord maybe? Also, what is this? This is like a smudge. Smudge is not on the holder itself, right? Template says, I didn't win. You said my name. <laughs> Did I really? Oh, the smudge is on the card itself. Hold on. Does that come off? Tell me that comes off, right? I'm sure it comes off. It doesn't look like a scratch. What kind of smudge is that, though? I said Temlet. Did I really? I thought I said Dio. Mystery smudge. That's correct. All right. Well, the mystery smudge stays on. It doesn't appear to be any kind of surface scratch. Uh, I don't know what it's made out of. It might be like glue or something. You might need to use a chemical to wash it off. Uh, I guess I'll still... Uh, I'll see if I can wash it off later. But uh, I guess I'll still put it in the lotto. <laughs> Oops. It's a, it's a coom stain. No, come on. I don't think it's a damaged case. I suppose it's possible that it's a damaged case, but it, it doesn't look like any kind of surface scratch. It's weird. Do you guys want to do it? We'll do a different card for now. We'll figure that one out later. Let's do a different card. What else do we got? Oh, this is a fancy one. Giratina Rayquaza Secret Rare. Oh, what a nice one. Dude, that's really nice. Giratina Rayquaza. 
The Guzzlord guzzed a bit too much. Oh my god. All right, so this is going to be Lotto 1. Should we add other things to it? Since it's such a nice one, I, I'm only going to add one thing to it. So this is a free grading, so I'm going to add that along with it, okay? But this is a real nice one, so we're just going to have it be the, the uh, PSA card and one free grading. No additional booster packs. I'm sorry, Garchomp Giratina. I, I'm so used to saying Giratina Rayquaza because we have a guy in our group who's actually named that. <laughs> so this is going to be Lotto 1. All right. There we go. It's a really nice card. All right, the energy cards are weighed out. Can you hold on to my cards this week since I only have two and I don't get paid till next week? Oh, absolutely, man. No problem. Definitely hold on to your cards for you. All right, there we go. Those are all set. Put these in here. DL's going to be pretty happy when he sees that Mewtwo. All right, Energy Lotto 1 and 2. They're up, they're both up. And uh, Aquafina Giratina, that's right. <laughs> what was I doing just before those cards sold? Oh, right, we were opening up a box of Shining Legends. You should go deep on Hidden Fates tonight. <laughs> I've only got a few of them left, so I, I, I couldn't go deep either way. <laughs> Not enough of them available. What's the day, by the way? Is it like Wednesday or something? All right, I'm going to crack this open. It's, it's Tuesday. Okay, thanks, Dark Lord Pongo. Easy for, to forget the days of the week when you work from home. You never know what's what anymore. I used to know what's what. All right, all those. Crack a hot one, that's right. It's a beautiful Ho-Oh card. What a beautiful card. Place that up there. How's it going, Hannah? Hey, Hannah, I noticed your payment from yesterday, and I added your cards to the lotto. The lotto then uh, was played, and DL won, okay? And we have a new lotto going, Hannah. Giratina Rayquaza. Hannah's sad. <laughs> Sorry, Hannah. <laughs> yeah, I saw your payment come in afterwards. Hannah Montana. <laughs> Oh my god. You're not even allowed to say that in here. That's not allowed. Oh, this card's definitely damaged. Not even close. Definitely damaged. So let's check out this Pikachu first. Big print line. But look at this. Look at this uh, Shining Lugia. Hard to believe this is a $100 card if it's PSA 10. And it is so damaged in this box. Not even close. How's it going, Rudy? Hannah says, I'm not patterns. What? Can't lotto. <laughs> Stas Lugia PSA 10. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Standard eBay listings. All right, so big big bend on that side on the edge. Really, it's actually not that bad. I'll throw that, I'll throw that into my box. It's not too bad. I might be able to sell... I mean, I don't know if they buy bulk, full, uh, what do they call those? Uh, bulk uh, hyper rares, but if they did, I'd probably be able to turn that one in. That, that's bent on the corner up there. <sighs> so hard to get a good card from these premium collection boxes. They're all damaged. We got those two, though. Did you guys see these? Let me show you them. 
These two right here might be tens. They have a shot, I think. These two shining Lugias. Oof. Their center. That one looks like it's got white specks right there, actually. Hmm. No, that one's going to be nine then. But maybe this one. Maybe this one. This one might be ten. This one will probably be nine. But you know what? If it's a solid looking nine, I'll still take it. Probably try and sell it for like 25 bucks. Hard to get a 10. Real difficult. Everyone here is a 10. That's right. And anyone not here right now is a is a 1. Yeah, they'll occasionally let a very small flaw get by PSA 10. Basically, I think it's, it's the equivalent of them saying, you have a 9.5, but we're bumping you up to a 10. BGS does 9.5s. Nobody likes BGS 9.5. It's annoying. 9.5 might as well just be 9. Because that's how it feels. Got this. And this. <laughs> my face is a 2, but my personality is a 10, so I'm a 12. <laughs> uh, if only it worked that way, cheese. If only it worked that way. Big line here in the middle, I'd say. See that? I don't think I want this one. You want to see me fold up a big-ass card? Look at this, guys. <laughs> are the big cards gradable? They are, actually. The big cards are gradable. Big cards are gradable. Weekend Wolf says why though. How's it going, Weekend Wolf? Just give them to me next time. Well, I don't know. If you wanted to pay a bunch for shipping. Open a pack of Shining in my honor. All right. Let's open a pack of Shining in Temlet's honor. You ready, Temlet? Opening a pack in Temlet's honor. Throw this over here. We have Sophocles, Super Scoop, Fur Alligator, Pikachu, Ekans, Voltorb, Scraggy, Buzel, Electrode, and Eveltal. <laughs> How do you like that? Maya swept. Very good. So much for that. <laughs> Green code. So hold on, I gotta extract these Lugias, which is what I'm actually going after. Come on, Lugias. These Lugias are in such bad condition, man. You're basically wasting your time. This, this Lugia is not even supposed to be here. It's supposed to be a Shining Ho-Oh, but it's like a defective box or something. Like maybe they ran out of the Ho-Ohs and they started filling it in with the Lugias. Looking good. It's off center. You immediately see that it's off center. It's too bad because the edges and corners on this one look really nice, but it's off center. Oh well. Too bad. How about this one? Temlet says, I feel like the stream is slow since I haven't been buying. Well, it's not just you actually, Temlet. A, a lot of people have slowed down buying, and I suspect it's because people are maybe speculating about the whole like slowing down of the economy and all that. I could be wrong. Who knows? It's not just you. Dark Lord Pongo says we're missing half the audience. We weren't yesterday. Yesterday we had a full audience of 50 people, but it was kind of slow yesterday too, believe it or not. It's okay. People can't be expected to buy cards every single day. You know what I mean? People can't be buying cards literally every single day. Think about it. 
It's too many cards. But I'll keep you guys entertained. Maybe what we'll do is make some Pokemon card decks sometime. My life is shiny but off-center. off to the side it's so different not having the microphone attached to me you should open some packs and search for some hits says Tamlet well I will but first I'm going to get these uh, Lugias pulled out Dark Lord Pongo says, were you working on a Monster Hunter video? Some of those ideas you had were really good. I enjoyed today's stream. Yeah, um, I have a lot of Monster Hunter videos to make. I have a lot of Monster Hunter videos to make. And I'm actually thinking of slowing down on the Monster Hunter live streams. I noticed the donations have actually slowed down over there as well. And I think that it might be smarter for me to focus more on videos. Focus more on videos. So I still get ad revenue from videos and, you know, I do it as a job. So it's important that I, I'm able to maintain kind of a steady income. Look at that, Shining Legends. So beautiful. Move this over here so I can buy all my Pokemans. Still waiting for my tax return. Oh, man. T taxes. Tax season. All right, put all those in. I think that's a full booster box of Shining Legends. How does that make you feel, Temlet? Do you want to open this one? Doesn't that look nice? I think there's a secret rare Mewtwo in here or alternative art Mewtwo. Maybe. It's possible. Temlet's like, oh man, I want to open that one. I'll put this on the floor now. Get a new box out. Temlet's like, I would so buy it. <laughs> yeah, I love Shining Legends. Shining Legends is awesome. Oops. Let that fall apart. You guys want to quarantine and chill? Hey, baby, you want to quarantine with me? Look at this. Oh, it's so bent. No way, man. All these promo cards suck. Come on. Jesus. How's a kid supposed to be able to remove that without hurting it? Oh, my God. There it goes. There we go. He's off center anyways. There's no point in being so nice to him. So I got a bunch of B tier Shining Celebes and Shining Ho-Ohs and look at this Ho-Oh. -Oh. Look how bad this is. What a pity. I mean... It's kind of unbendable. Actually, we kind of did a good job unbending it right there, don't you think? Nah, you can still kind of see it, though. Look at that. <laughs> He's out of here. This is what we're after, but he looks off-center. That's a negative 10. There it goes. Nice and easy. We'll try for the Pikachu as well. That's a pretty nice looking Pikachu, actually. Well centered. Oh, that one's pretty good. All right, I'll keep him. All right, we'll keep him. We'll put a check mark on him to remind myself that I examined him and he looks good. Somebody might want a holographic Pikachu. Who knows? 
immediately looks off center, thin on this side, so he's off center to the left. He's got a white dot down there. Too bad. Another Lugia wasted. How many Lugias are we going to have? Ooh, that one's looking pretty on center. Ooh, I'm going to have to try for that one. So how many have we gotten so far? We've gotten two, and probably amongst those two, only one of them is PSA 10. Oh, I'm always careful. He said as he ripped the whole box apart. I heard a pack fall into my trash pile. I'm going to have to go digging for it. So this guy actually just fell out. He's uh, off center. All right. One pack of Shining Legends literally just fell. Oh, here it is. Right on top. I found it. I found him. Just one, right? Yeah, just one. This side we got the shining hole move that up here I got a bunch of the tall cards the giant cards what is this by the way oh snap there was another shining Lugia that I never extracted I better get that real fast how did I get I must have gotten distracted or something missed that one all right here we go There we go. Not looking that off center, actually. This one looks pretty good on the front. Let's check the back. Yeah, that one's looking good on the front. A real solid white dot right on that bottom, bottom left edge. That'll make it a nine. Actually, this is a white dot here, too. Probably a nine. All right, so I could sell something like this to you guys if you want to buy a nine or lower. I don't know. I think the nines actually would probably go for about 25 bucks if I had to guess. I don't know. I might have the nines graded too. He has a scratch on him. You can't even rip him in half. What is he made out of? Dude, he's made out of some crazy foil. <laughs> it's not right. It's not natural. Let's try and get this ho. -oh. And now we're going to go for the Lugia. All right. Real careful on the Lugia. There it goes. And this Pikachu's got a big print line on it. Not worth it. Here we go. Shining Lugia. He is looking slightly off center, actually. Looking a little thin on, on the top compared to the bottom. And maybe slightly thinner on the left. But not much. Let's check the back of the card. Oh, white dots right there. I can't win, man. Every single one of these are coming in a nine. Every single one. I've pulled maybe one ten out of like 20 boxes. No wonder they're $100. That's probably underpriced at this point. Based on how many of these I've pulled. Wait, why did I slip this in here? Based on how many of these I've pulled... $100 for 10 is probably underpriced. They're probably closer to 150 because of how expensive it would be for you to pull one and then have it graded successfully. It would be really difficult for you to do that. I asked my mom for Shining Lugia, but she said we had Shining Lugia at home. <laughs> All right, next one.
You know, what's really sad is actually we haven't really run into any PSA 10 of the Full Art Ho-Ohs or PSA 10 of the Shining Celebes either. It's not just the Lugia. The Celebi and the Ho-Oh are in bad condition too. Overall, I'm kind of regretting buying these. I wish I had, uh, cause see they're expensive. But there's still a few boxes left for some of these to be of decent condition, but I think I would just be breaking even. <laughs> I think I was expecting more of them to have come in at good condition. They're all bad condition. It's really sad. I think I'm gonna end up losing money on these. Oh, yeah, itchy eye. There we go. So tired of cat allergies. Move that up top. There we go. Yeah, I think I was expecting more of the Lugias or the Shining Celebes or the Full Art ho to be in decent condition, but they're all shit. They're all shitty. Gotten better at extracting them, at least. He says why he struggles to extract the hole. All right, so we got that. There we go. I don't really care about the Pikachu too much. I don't think the Pikachu is worth much. Oh, speaking of which, this shining hole looks pretty good. Except he's not. He's got some edge wear right on that top. I think that would turn him right into a nine. I think that would turn him right into a nine. Off center shining Lugia. That's a nine. You know what? I'm just going to send in my nines for the Shining Lugias. What is with the quality of these cards? I know, right? Every single one of them has been bad, dude. This is off-center Shining Celebi. Everything else about them is nice, actually. What is this? This old baggie had an ant on it. <laughs> Alright, it's better now. Let's see. How many more nines and eights can we pull? Ooh, this one's nice. It comes with two shining Lugias. It's one of those boxes where I think they ran out of shining Lugias. Let's see what we can get here. Come on, PSA shining Lugia. out first. There we go. How's it going, by the way, everyone? This big card has lines in it. See? So you know what that means. Now we have to give it to Hannah. Move this over here. Hey, I'm just kidding, Hannah. <laughs> Can't tear it anymore. Not manly enough. Let's see. Let's jump over here. Why does all the Jumbo ho -Oh's have lines? I don't know. Why does every Lugia literally off-center or has white dots on it? Somebody explain how the production quality on these cards are so freaking bad. Because these are real bad. 
we have pulled out of like 20, 30 boxes, maybe one Lugia that could maybe pull a 10. Maybe. It's not even guaranteed. This is off center. You can see it right away. It's a nice card. It's an off center card. All right, now for the Lugia. I can already tell he's off center. Let's try to extract him. Yeah, unfortunately he is off center. It's actually pretty close. The front is clearly off center. I love hearing that noise. That's the sound of someone subscribing. I'll send him in. Oops. The front of the card's going to turn it into a nine. I'm sure of it. I'll be able... I'll look through these later. I'll look through these later to decide if I want to send a bunch of nines off. I shouldn't. I should be focusing on higher quality cards for now. Here's another Lugia. Pikachu's looking good this time. Let's pick up the Pikachu. Oh, and it's not. How's it going, Tora? He says, I just realized I wasn't described as you said that. Oh, you're going to hit that sub button? Hit that sub button. Ring that bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Take a look at that. I think he's actually thin on the bottom. I think he's off center on the bottom. But you know what? This one's looking real clean on the front. Looking for any damage for our, those little, the holdings on the side of the, the uh, plastic holder actually tend to damage the edge of the card. Actually, yeah, you can see it here. Right here, you see that? Do you see that? So these little bumps will very likely cause it to fail a 10. And they're most likely related to the way the card was being held. I see white dot here, white dot here, white dot here. If this card was a 10, it would be very close. Tempted to send this one off, though. I think that one's going to be a 9. So that's how depression feels like. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, just from looking at this one, we can see right away that it's off-center. Thin on this side, thick on that side. Off-center. Throw that over there. Oh, dear. down here he says nah use a straightening iron <laughs> who knows cheese maybe uh maybe there is a way to do something like that what do you guys think maybe with a microscope <laughs> I wonder if they can detect when you've altered the card shred the ho-ho we need entertainment <laughs> I like how destroying the card is entertaining. Oh no, this whole card's looking pretty fresh. Pretty fresh. No lines. He's going up top. These are my packs of candy that I sell. Move that off to the side. Now to try and extract the Lugia. Now to extract the off-center Lugia. I think I've definitely lost money on these at this point. We've pulled maybe one Lugia that was on center. And uh, looked like he could have a shot at a 10. Come on, car, just get out of the freaking... Jesus Christ, dude. All right, looks like I extracted him well. 
white specks down there, slightly off center. This is going to be a nine. I mean, I think it would be close to a 10. Yes, Tora, we have two Lottos running at the same time. Giratina Rayquaza is in Lotto 1, PSA 10. Recently graded from the looks of it. Really nice. I'm sorry, Giratina Garchomp. Giratina, Giratina Garchomp. I'm really terrible at this. <laughs> then on that side, otherwise this card is looking pretty good. That's also going to be a 9. I wonder if the owner of these actually looked them over and said, hmm, that's off center, that's off center, that's off center, and then he decided he'd sell them to a guy like me. I wonder if that's possible. Because you can kind of see just from looking at it, like if, you, if you're the seller of this box, you can just kind of see right from looking at this that this one's off center. You don't even have to open it to know. Off center Lugia. Yay. All right. Amazing. Tora. One Loto ticket, please. One Loto ticket. Sounds good. Rudy says, What about Mewtwo and Mew? The Mewtwo and Mew has been raffled off. The winner was DL. DL won the Mewtwo Mew. Dark Lord Pongo says, that seems like a lot of effort just to annoy, just to annoy the next owner. It does, and it, it, it is, and it isn't. Like, consider this for a minute, Dark Lord Pongo. If, if you get a PSA 10 Shining Lugia, he sells for like $125. So if you have this huge lot of the premium, premium collections, why shouldn't you go through them and kind of pick out a few for yourself and kind of put the shitty ones to the side and get rid of them, sell them? That's some of the issues you're always dealing with when you buy from other people rather than, like, straight from the store. Yep, this is the card. Woo! It's a very pretty Mewtwo and Mew. DL. The Loto Man. All right, you guys sit tight. I'm going to go grab even more Shining Legends. You thought I was out of them. I was not. Be right back. Oh, man. Just three more tries, everyone. This one looks fairly on center. I mean, he looks slightly off. This side is thinner than that side, I think. it so difficultly. Alright, throw that over there. Another giant card. No lines in it, so we're going to put it up top. I owe JC one of those. I need to ship it out to him. I don't think we can go much further than that. I think that box is full. That's going on the floor. Wow, we got a ton of Shining Legends, guys. We are Shining Legends rich. 
And let's see. Go ahead and cut this in half like I normally do. Starting with the Shining Celebi. Leaf Step, <laughs> what, a, what a move. Time Recall, each of your evolved Pokemon can use any attack from its previous evolutions. You still need the necessary energy to use attacks. So he's off center, thin on the top. Yeah, thick on the bottom. All right. Not a single Shining Celebi has looked worth grading. Not a single one. Here's the ho -Oh. Got it. White dots down here. White dot right there, but actually this one's looking pretty close to a 10. I think that is still going to end up being a 9. Put that over there. All right, and the card we want, Shining Lugia. That fell right out. Let's take a look at this Pikachu, too. Quite good on the back. How about the front? Oh, that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. That might be a 10. We'll place them up here. All right, now the moment of truth. I mean, the bottom's clearly thinner than the top on this angle. And then the left looks thinner than the right. So, thin on this sort of edge here. White dot right there. <sighs> See, if there was not a single white dot on the back, I'd still consider it. God, dude. I'd still consider it. What we might do is choose our five best Lugias out of the pile and send them in and just see what happens. All right, next one. Okay, that one's also looking kind of similar to the previous one. I'll gladly pay you Friday for a hamburger today. How's it going, Rudy? He says, I pulled a shiny Charizard a few months ago. Nice. Nice. He's going to go up top. She says, how much are Shining? I'm selling them $7 each, the booster packs. So for three for $21. Three for $21, or you can buy them individually for seven each. We have an awful lot of Shining Legends. Ah, man. That's never good when you see the bottom, like, doing that. Looking off center. Also, the card is warped. Ah, and there it is. So when Callie gets martial law, he'll remember my kindness. One pack for Temlet. Are you ready for this, Temlet? When 
Sean Kelly is martial lawed. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is for Temlet. Get ready, Temlet. Cheese bought you a pack, Temlet. Get ready. Here we go. Ooh. Alternative Art Mewtwo. Oh, my God. <laughs> what do we have for Alligator, Incineroar? Temlet, you must remember and my, my kindness when you sent to California to enforce martial law. And we got Entei GX. Sweet. That's my music pausing. It's funny, it pauses at the same moment each time. Like if you start the song out fresh, it pauses at the same exact moment. Are you still watching? Why, yes. Yes, I am. Thank you for asking. I'm glad you asked. Indeed, I am. Here we go. Shining Selby. Let me just examine the back of this. Is there another way to open this, maybe? So the way I've been doing it is I've been pulling the plastic apart. It's shiny. trying to think of another way to open this so that they cannot be damaged. What do you guys think? How do we extract these? See those see those edges? I think the edges cause a lot of damage. Slip a junk card beneath the secure strips on left and right. Then pull the card out. Use the scissors. All I can think is shredder. Slide it out. True. The problem is it doesn't want to slide either. So what I've been doing is I use my own strength to pull it apart like that. See, so I do this. And that has mostly been working. That's why the card seemingly falls out so easily. But then you see this little edge, and I wonder if I'm doing the damage. I don't think I am, though. I think the card is just... I, I get a feeling that when they inserted the card, it got damaged, right? Like, think about, think about this. The card was inserted into here after this was made. So a machine is pushing the card down into this. And I don't exactly know how the machine is doing it, but it can't be good the way the machine is doing it. It can't be good. Let's get this hoe out. Yeah, see, that came out fine. Yeah, the damage was already done. That's what I think, too. I think that machine probably just goes and puts it in. Dots on the edges. Literally every time. Literally every time. Literally. Literally. This card's warped. Slight off spacing. Wide edges. Good night, Temlet. He says, I gotta wake up early. He's gotta wake up early to enforce martial law, everyone. All right, guys, cross your fingers. Last box. If PSA 10 Shining Legends Lugia is not in here, then I just do not get him. And I lost an enormous amount of money because these premium power collections were expensive. They were expensive. They're expensive because, in theory, you're picking up these four cards on the front. That's why they're expensive. But guess what? If every single one of them is garbage, then you didn't really pick anything up, did you? You didn't really pick anything up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, nosies. 
Oopsie daisy. No print lines, very good. We'll go ahead and toss that up top. It's like getting a broken Rayquaza statue. Yay! Yeah, I still have a bunch of those. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I'm not opening these. <laughs> okay, but we gotta extract the last Lugia. We'll do him last, okay? Let's get the Shining Celebi Poker Wild first. Okay, so our last Shining Celebi is off center. Perfect. How about our last Shining Ho-Oh? TCC, you get my order? Oh, you must have done it when I stepped away or it never made a noise. Hold on. Yay! The Shining will open your cards right now. But first, let's pull out these last few cards. So here's our last ho -Oh. oh, not bad, actually. Not bad. That one might be close. That one might be close. I really don't want to send off any of the ho -Ohs unless they're tens. They've got to be tens. Tens or it's not worth my time. Okay, we're going to get your card, Strato. Let's open these last two. Shining Lugia. Falls right out. Oops. Oops. Clearly off center. Immediately fails a 10. Damage on the side. Well, there you go. I think they damaged the card when they put it into the holder. It's a good thing, too. Those Shining Lugias are probably undervalued. The Shining Lugias are probably undervalued, if I had to guess. Normally, it's very easy to obtain promo cards, but those Lugias are damaged so easily that I think that they are probably undervalued. All off-center, all damaged, all day. That's my energy drink. Here we go. Let's get some Shining Legends for Strato. Beautiful. Two. We have Scrafty, Damage Mover, How, Torkoal, Minum, Jinx, Scraggy, Shroomish, Larvesta, and Keldeo. Playing a dangerous game. Playing a dangerous game. Who's going to do it? Double Colorless, Pokemon Catcher, Great Ball, Minum, Breloom, Torcat, Ekans, Pikachu, Arbok, and Eveltal. <gasps> Oh, it's down to the last pack. Everyone crossed their fingers. For Alligator, How, Golurk, Torkoal, Ivysaur, Zorua, Litten, Quillfish, Golurk. Oh, Pokemon Breeder. Well, you don't walk away empty-handed. That is one thing. But you did not pull a secret rare Mewtwo Mew. Actually, she looks really good. This might be a 10 right here. Well-centered. Yeah, very well centered actually. And the edges in the corners look really clean. Oh, very good. Pokemon breeder. She's ready to milk that mill tank. And not the milk that you think I'm talking about. It's different other a different kind of milk. So let's see, let's get you back on the table with a fresh baggie. Different kind of milk. <laughs> Stratosphere says, alright. Yeah, not bad. You know, anytime you can pull a full art 10 is good, in my opinion. Because it's one thing to pull a full art, it is quite another to pull one worth grading. And uh, perfect cards that are full arts are nice to own. Oops. <sighs> Kill me, dude. How many of those did we go through? Like, 40 of them, right? Oh, 
Hold on. Let me get all my Lugias together. You ready for this? So, first of all, this whole stack. Let's get all my Lugias together and grade them and then send the best ones off. What do you guys think? Yeah, Mega Uber Roof indeed. Mimikyu, Shining Hose, Pikachu's. I was surprised you had so many boxes. I did. I had a lot of boxes. I ordered them specifically to grade some Shining Lugias, and none of them are worth grading. So I'm pretty sure I just lost a ton of money. <laughs> That's how it goes, guys. That's why I'm, I'm looking at them going, I wonder if the seller kind of goes through and he sets all the off-center Lugias to the side. I wouldn't want to buy cards from a dealer who uh, grades his own cards. I wouldn't want to buy I wouldn't want to buy sets like that from him. Make me uncomfortable. Stack attack at Jesse, Heatran. I mean unless you know but you can't actually see what he does in privacy. That's the problem. I don't know. It's probably just Nintendo's own low quality. Probably didn't have anything to do with him. Lucario, Melmetal, Mew, Galaspot. That's exactly once he what he wants me to think. <laughs> what do we have in here, man? We got a bunch of garbage cards in here. Got all the... Oh, here we go. Here's a Shining Celebi. Ho oh, oh Shining Celebi. Pikachu, 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 Pikachu. Or she. True. That is, that is true. Could be a girl. I don't think it's a girl. I think it's a dude. The name gives it away. Sudowoodo... Frogadier, Celestila, Circuitry, Fermosa, Saviper, Moltres Aptos, Giovanni, Solgaleos. Lots of Solgaleos. Tons of Solgaleos. Alright, I think that's it. Twenty twenty, you can't say that. That's somewhat true. Did you just assume my gender? All right, so these. So these are what I pulled from those boxes. They're all trash. If any of those looked like tens, I would have already put them into the box to be graded. How's it going, DL? He says, whoa, late stream. Oh, hey, DL's here. I was telling people that they should contact you, tell you that the stream started. You won this, dude. Reedy says, I identify as Charizard. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right, that's the Lugias we want. Uh, Lugias, Pikachu, Ho-Oh's, Shining Celebi, Lugia. So many Lugias, guys. And none of these are going to be tens. All right. So we have our shining Lugia pile. <laughs> uh, these Pikachus, let's see. Some of these would probably be thrown out right now. I saw one of them with, yeah, this one has a print line. Ba-ding! Who's that? Oh, how's it going, DL? Lotto, please. New lotto, please. All right, let's get him into the new lotto. Sounds good, man. The next lotto is for Giratina Rayquaza. Giratina Rayquaza and a free grading, but no booster packs. 
because the gir not Rayquaza, Giratina Garchomp. I keep doing that. The gir gir uh, I can't talk. Giratina Garchomp is so nice looking. I don't really think I need to offer additional packs. Sometimes I offer additional packs as like a buffer for the value of the card or for like the popularity of the card, but this one looks so good. How could people not be tripping over themselves to get it? I don't know. We'll have to see, actually. One, two. Man, I was watching a YouTube video today where Steve-O was talking about making a the next Jackass video or something like that. I think they made another Jackass video. And, dude, he could barely talk. I guess he has, like, a damaged esophagus from all the drugs and the smoking he did. Crazy. It was crazy. I was like, man. Lucky for me, I do not smoke. I do not do any drugs other than probably sugar and caffeine. Don't do drugs, kids. It's expensive and it damages your body. Not worth it. But yeah, he was talking and he didn't he didn't even sound like himself. That's what made me sad. That's what made me the saddest is yeah, his voice is shot, exactly. I remember what he used to sound like from back when he was young making the old Jackass videos. I remember what he sounds like. And now you listen to him and his voice is gone and I just, it makes me depressed to hear him. It's like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry, man. You know, hearing that, I was like, oh no, <laughs> that's not good. I told my wife, I was like, something's not right with him. So anyways, that was depressing. <laughs> Everyone's getting older. <laughs> All these ho-ohs. A lot of ho-ohs. Don't get laid, get paid. <laughs> more money, more problems. Make more money, frick more bitches. Tons of Shining Celebes. Shining Celebes coming out the Watsu, man. Look at all these Shining Celebes. What the frick? Now, I think I already have some Shining Lugias in here. Because this is not the first time that I've thought of doing some Shining Lugias. Here's a Ho-Oh, in fact. Snorlax, Moltres, Aptos, Articuno. I like those cards. They're nice looking. There's a Shining Celebi. See, I haven't sent that off because I'm not confident that I want to. That's the whole reason I haven't sent it. Those are some Solgaleos. There's a Rayquaza. I'll just send him right off. I think the Rayquazas are a safe bet. Such a lovely looking card. Such a lovely looking card. I could sell those all day. I'll probably just put a stack of them to the side. Wait a few years, wait for them to not be as available. Some old Japanese cards back here. Oh, that's a nice looking Mewtwo. You, you don't show in my subscriptions anymore and I don't get notifications when you go live. Any idea why? To tell you the truth, I have no idea why. Uh, what I recommend is that you hit the bell so that you get a notification when I go live. And if it's all not working, you could try unsubbing and then resubbing and then unclicking on the bell and reclicking on the bell. I don't know if that helps at all. Yeah, YouTube's not been treating me fair, I think. I think YouTube's been hiding me. You are not the first person to tell me that. A bunch of people have told me that, actually. Actually, well, even my wife, that happened. And even for me, on my Game Economist channel, that happened. Hey, look at that stratosphere. Whew, sexy. Okay, we got some Shining Lugias over here. I think I would accept PSA 9 Shining Lugias. But not to show in subscriptions, even when I search under who is live. Exactly. So Death Stalker, I had the same experience from my uh, Game Economist channel. I would actually search Pokemon cards live stream and then organize it by live streams. 
no live streams showed up because nobody was live, but I was live. So it, it was like, where am I? Why is it not displaying me? Somebody could be searching for Pokemon card live stream and then setting the YouTube settings to live streams only, and I still don't show up. So I don't know what to think of it. I suspect YouTube started uh, maybe restricting my channel, suppressing it because I mentioned coronavirus and they're probably cracking down on people who say coronavirus. So they probably are restricting my channel from being seen by average people. So that's what I think happened. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to keep going. Um, he, exactly. It was pretty recent. Actually, it happened right after the whole coronavirus outbreak became a big deal on the news. So I, I really think they might be hiding my channel because of that. Like they might be like, hmm, we'll hide his channel. I think they're hiding my channel. You are not the first person to tell me that. So many people have said the same thing. I'll move that out for a second. Well, let's see what we got going on here. So I, I suppose the first quality we should look for is centering. We should get a well-centered shining Celebi. You know what I need? I need a tiny ruler. <laughs> uh, but let's eyeball it. Off-center. Off-center. Center. This one's on center. Wait, what about the top and the bottom? It looks off center on the top. I think it's harder to detect. That's looking pretty close. I feel like coronavirus because nobody wants me. Oh. Discord just got a whole lot more important. I know, right? <laughs> Yeah, another thing I do, guys, is I always ping everyone in the Discord server when I go live. So if you want another form of notification, you could join us on Discord, say hi to us, get to know us. I can tell these aren't on center. Like, this is thinner than this. But I want to believe in my mind that they will let it pass. Tell you what, let's go off of a different... Let's go off of edges and corners. We'll worry about centering later. He says, I got on there. That's the only way I know you're live. Oh, that's sad, dude. Where is Lotto number two? Give out to whomever. To whomever? Oh, thank you so much, DL. So, Lotto number two. DL is doing a giveaway. Giveaway. Let's do the three people. Wait, have there been three people who have bought? So, we're going to say... Uh, DL giving to DL. That's going to be the wild card. And then we're going to say template from DL. And we're going to say stratosphere from DL. Thank you so much, DL. I was just telling people how you have probably given away the most number of tickets. One, two... And three. And this will go into the lotto on the side. <laughs> I wish I had play money so I can buy cards for people, but money is tight. Totally understandable. Really, you don't have to worry about it, Wellix. All right, one, two, three. DL, can you teach me to be rich? <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to have a course on how to become wealthy here we go so this is going to have a big is that a white corner yeah that's going to be a big white dot there we're going to take this out of this holder this deck sleeve move it into a white sleeve oops maybe a white sleeve that doesn't have marker on it oop that has marker on the back too let's just throw that one away That's heavily off center on the top, you can see it, but also it has multiple white white dots. How about here? White dot. This one's pretty close to having no white dots. I would say this one's messed up right here. 
So we're sorting through our Shining Celebes for a 10. Oh, this one looks very clean. Liking that one. This one looks, ow, this one looks pretty clean too. My leg just started itching. Off center though. What? Two sets of unbroken bond with bottle if you have them. Maximum ride. <laughs> You're messing it all up. How am I gonna get you on the table? Let's open up some unbroken bonds. Are you guys hyped? Here we go. Maximum ride is here. Do not fear. It's our 24 hour stream. Oh man, what if it was truly a 24 hour stream? What if I left the microphone on mute and I, I just waited to see if anyone bought cards. And so if my laptop went off, I would just go open them for you. <laughs> Dude, that would be amazing. All right, and in fact, I do have Unbroken bonds. One. Good luck. Good luck. Maximum six ride. I could just leave the stream on. Here's what I'll do, guys. I'll I'll position the camera so you can watch my wife sleep. She over there. She over there sleeping. You can't see her. She hides the pillow. <laughs> she puts the pillow in front of her to hide herself. Uh, we'll just watch her sleep. And if I hear my computer go off, I'll return to my iPhone and I'll open a pack of cards for you. Just leave it on all day. All day Pokemon cards. Easy. <laughs> Dude, that'd be funny as hell. Here we go. Pack number one. Secret rare Charizard Reshiram. Mahasvar's been trying so hard for the Charizard Reshiram. It would be sad if you pulled it right here. Or he would be sad. I, would, I wouldn't be sad. I'm impartial. We got Arcanine, Gligar. I need sleep? Well, I would be sleeping. But I would sleep next to the, la the laptop so I can hear it go off. <laughs> Oh, no, not Boomer Oak. Now, Boomer Oak is really just a superstition. We all know you can pull a good card with Boomer Oak. It's not impossible. Speaking of which, here's a Reshiram Charizard. Very good. The best GX is a Dedene. However, Reshiram Charizard GX is a nice pull, too. Boomer Oak's just a superstition. The Kawuna virus will take care of him either way. It's not a big deal. It's all over for him. Kawuna virus isn't going anywhere. Wound virus is here to stay. Next card. Oh no, it's Corona. It's Corona time, baby. Dun, 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 dun. It's a good time to not be over the age of 60. Porygon, Stunfisk. Oh, that's too bad. Mahasvera, no problem though. It's still a fun superstition. It is a fun superstition. Welder, Frogadier, Molain, Bellsprout, Seal, Aeron, Froki, Porygon, Litten, and Genesect. Next pack. No problems. Throw that to the side. We have Fairy Charm, Triple Acceleration, Eradicate, Mischievous, Oddish, Murkrow, Sandshrew, Litten, Squirtle, and Victory Bell. Next pack. Toss that to the side. Green, Rhydon, Energy Spinner, Ekans, Cottony, Caterpie, Darumaka, Porygon, Rhydon, and Wigglytuff. Three, four, five. Radicate, Duskstone, Squirtle, Esper, Togepi, Ghastly, Carvana, Inke, and Polyrath. Two packs left. Or left. Two of them are Burning Shadows, so hope they don't have the Cutting Error. Ooh! Let us know if they do have the Cutting Error. Really would be interested in knowing. Slowpoke, Diglett, Crocodile, and Sand Slash. As you guys know, I stopped buying Burning Shadows because I don't want to waste your money on it. If it does not have a chance for a PSA 10 uh, Ultra Rare, then it is not worth your money. That's my opinion. Seal, Aeron, Froakie. 
Porygon, Venonat, and Holographic Chonky Snorlax. He's a lovely looking card. No full art, man. No full art. And I'm going to give you a pity pull, which of course is going to be this Pikachu that we just pulled out of Shining Legends. Because you did not get a GX or full art in the second half of your back, uh, pulls. So there we go. Pikachu. You can't pull this one from a pack. You have to buy that Premium Collections pack, so that's not bad. The Snorlax, which actually is very cute, and the Reshiram Charizard GX. Hoping for Acerola, the Zard, or the Fairy Energy. That makes sense. There we go. And this is going to say max six ride. I'm just going to write max six. <laughs> Easier. All right, we'll place it right over here. Okay, and back to my card sorting. We were looking for a PSA 10 Shining Celebi. I think this is probably going to be a 9. It's a pretty clear white dot on the upper right. It's got this odd edge over here with a little bit of edge wear. This one has a shot, I think. Nope, heavily off-center on the front. Perforated edges. This one's pretty close, but it's off-center. This one's not bad. How about the front? All right. All right. Nope. How about this one? Uh, I see two white dots. And this one? Going to have damage on the right edge. Okay. How are we looking on the front? I think this one might have a shot. That's heavily off center. Well, this one looks nice. It's got some weird cutting issue going on it again. Ooh, this one looks real solid. How's it look in the front? Oh, this one looks pretty this one looks pretty good. That one might be a 10. I think it has slight off centering. And this one looks pretty bad. Clearly off center. Okay, so this is basically like my B pile. These cards might be nines, they might be eights. One or two of them might be eights. And basically, what I'm going to go ahead is I'm going to mark them $5. You can have any of these Shining Celebes for $5. They're nice cards. I wouldn't grade them. And that's why I wouldn't buy them for more than $5. <laughs> if you're not going to grade a card, that's okay. You don't have to grade every card in your collection. Some people like to collect other ways, such as filling a folder up. So we're going to put fives on them. Which I think is a fairly good price. How's it going, Gerson? Welcome back, man. I'm in the process of analyzing my Shining Celebes and Shining Lugias and Full Art Ho-Oh promos to decide which ones get sent off for grading and which ones do not get sent off for grading. This is too slow. I gotta do it differently. Five. Ah, doing it while holding it's much, much harder. All right, those are all marked five. I value them roughly at $5. If you were to grade these one day, you can expect an 8 or a 9 probably on the grade. 
I need an empty box. <laughs> Alright, we have an empty box for those. What do we got here? So these are the ones that kind of made it past the first screening. Let's check the front of the card now to see if there's any some any clear, obvious flaws with it. That one's looking nice. That one's looking nice. Oh, this one's looking real nice. That might be a 10 right there. This one's got this odd edge. All right. So hopefully one of these is a 10. They might be nines. You never know. I don't know what Shining Celebi goes for. Let's get them into sleeves, though. Holders. Savers. Whatever you want to call them. We'll send these five off to PSA. It's cat hair. And we'll see if any of these come back tens. By the way, you guys are welcome to buy any cards while I'm working on this. I'm just doing this to pass the time. Feel free to interrupt me. I'm just doing this because I can tell the stream's a little slow. You guys all hoarding your money? <laughs> it's the end of the world. Coronavirus. <laughs> well, some of you might have been laid off even. Apparently people are getting laid off. Jesus. What are you guys going to do if, if, if the government puts $2,000 in your pocket? What are you going to buy with it? Have you thought about that? You going to buy your uh, PSA 10, PSA 10 Charizard? <laughs> <laughs> Am I selling any PSA cards? I like those more than packs. Dark Lord Pongos likes PSA cards. Well, uh, I'm always open-minded to selling any card at the right price. I can show you what I have for sale, though. This Guzzlord, which apparently has this mark on it. I don't know if the mark comes off. This Electrode. This PSA 9 Umbreon. This PSA 9 Pikachu Zekrom. Oh, man. That's all we have left? Oh, no. You guys go through these PSA lot of cards like they're candy. Oh, no. That's way too fast. <laughs> Whoa, where does this come from? Move this over here. You guys go through those way too fast. What else do we have? Uh, this is a lovely Lapras 10, Umbreon 10. We have another Lapras 10, so one of those should probably be for sale. Unified Mize, Mega Sableye Tyranitar, Eevee Snorlax, Gengar Mimikyu, Dedene. The Dedene, I believe I do actually have two of these, so this guy's definitely definitely for sale. That's right, we're burning through them. Here's a Celebi Venusaur and a Magikarp Whale Lord. Uh, are you looking for a particular card, like really expensive ones? I have what I consider investment quality cards over here. So these cards would be investment quality cards. You would buy them and sit on them and wait for them to appreciate. I got Dark Alakazam 10. Dark Golbat 10. Dark Gyarados 10. Dark Dragonite 10. Second Dark Dragonite 10. And even a Dark Blastoise 10. So I consider those investment quality. And then I have my private collection. I mean, if you offer me a bazillion dollars, I'll, I'll sell you a card for my private collection. <laughs> Dark Blastoise is very sexy. Very sexy. I'm not looking to resell, just wants to keep until my kids grow up. Oh, cool. Shining Celebi, Shining Celebi, Shining Celebi, Shining Celebi. Look at that. So these will be sent off to PSA. PSA needs to return some damn cards of mine. I have I, I sent off so many cards to PSA so that when they come back, I can sell them. Maybe to you guys, maybe on eBay. Uh, but the problem is, you guys actually go through the PSA cards very quickly through the lotto. And so I don't have a lot to sell. I, I actually have to go shopping for them because you guys buy them that fast through the lotto. The lotto just wipes them out. I can't believe that's all we have left. You tell me what you're looking for, though, and uh, I'll keep an eye out for it, okay? So, Shining Celebi's done. 
let's move on to these Ho-Ohs next. We got three of them here. Move this Pikachu to the side. I want to pull these out real fast. So we're looking for Ho-Ohs that are worth grading. How many do we have in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We have fifteen of these hoes. Look at that. Beautiful. But let's actually start breaking them down. All right. So we can tell right off the bat this one is very heavily off center. He's not going to make it. White corners. I could only afford first edition Dark Blastoise PSA 9 at the moment. It looks very sexy. I believe I have one of those as well. Do I not? I think I bought one and it's in the mail and it's sitting in my mail pile waiting to be opened. This one's pretty close. We'll put it in the 10 pile. No, I don't think he is actually. How are there still ants? Go away, ants. Freaking ants, man. All right, next one. Clearly off center on the top. White edge on the right hand. Just weirdly off center. I don't know. It's like, it's almost like crooked. About this one. A white dot here, white dot there. The centering's actually decent on this one. I'm going to put it in the nine pile. I think that one's a strong nine. Yep, that's a white dot. Edge damage, two white dots. Dot, dot. Have you worked for PSA? No, I've never worked for PSA, but it's pretty obvious. When you've bought a lot of PSA cards, you're looking for a card with no edge wear, no dots, no off-centering. This one is actually looking pretty clean. I think that's the closest to a 10 we've gotten so far. Yeah, this one's pretty close as well. This one's like right on the edge because it, it's got like a dot right there. It's a very minor dot. Sometimes you can get away with a very minor dot. That's a 9.5. I will put him here anyways. I mean, if he pulls a 9 and it's a nice looking 9, I will still sell it. That's a 9. That's very close. So I think these three will be sent off. These two are 9.5s for sure. But what about this one? Yeah. It's got one problem up here. See, you need to zoom in to see it. Do you see it? But actually, that might be a 10. That, that might be a 9.5 where they decide to turn it into a 10. So we're going to send these three off for sure. Probably two nines and maybe a 10 is what these will come back as. But if we're lucky, we might get two 10s. That would be really nice. And if we're unlucky, all three of them will be nines. You never know because they might look at the front of the card and decide it. Like this one, it looks off center on the front on the top. Yeah, I don't know. That one's off center on the top for sure. Hold on. Let me take another look at it. Yeah, that one's off-center on the top for sure. That one's going into the 9 pile. I mean, it might pull a nice-looking 9, but I'm not necessarily looking for 9s right now. I got enough cards to grade that I don't need to grade 9s, but I could grade 9s. I don't have problems with 9s. I consider 9s still very collectible. 8s is where you start to draw the line. 8s is like, you better get a very, very good price on it if you buy it as an 8. So out of all the Ho-Ohs, two of them... Two of them look decent. Now I need to mark these all with a five. For five dollars. That's what I'm marking them five for. So if you want to add a, a uh, nice looking rainbow rare ho-oh to your collection and not break the wallet, you can do so for just five dollars. I think that's a very fair price for these. Just doing five dollars. I don't know what the real worth the, is. Oops, we'll get rid of that nine. Put down five. 
I don't know what their real worth is. This is just the price I'm charging without doing any research. In all likelihood, their price could be higher, but we graded them live, so you know they're not tens. These are more like something you put in your folder. There we go. Or give to your kids. You know, you're not going to give your kid a PSA 10 and tell them to go play with it, right? <laughs> it's just not going to happen. <laughs> it's a bad idea. So we got our Shining Celebes and our ho as well. Are you really doing a 24-hour stream? How's it going, Death Pile? Uh, I could, in theory, actually leave this live stream on for 24 hours because it's plugged in, but I would not be able to attend it the whole time. <laughs> We've joked about it. I think it's a funny idea. So this Lugia has already been graded with the possibility for a 10. Same with this one. I checkmarked them. Let's take a look. Good centering on the front. Oh, baby. This one looks like it could be a 10. In fact, it could. That was uh, correct. That was correct for that one. That goes right back into its sleeve. I deserve sleep after the Doom stream. Dude, we had a large audience for the Doom stream. I was really surprised. Today, I was watching a Doom speedrunner, and he had a smaller audience than me, even though he had an impressive speedrun. Uh, you know, under his belt, it didn't matter. People were really liking me watch playing that Doom. I might replay it on, like, Ultra Ultra Nightmare, maybe? What do you guys think? It, would that be too hard, or...? I think this is definitely a 9. We'll try for the 10. So here we go. We're looking for the 10... Hmm. One's actually not bad. It's got one dot down there. You improved at the game so fast. My hands hurt, actually. This hand, this hand hurts from playing with the controller. The problem with the live streams right now is they don't earn any money. Live streams actually really rely on donations to earn money. And if nobody donates, then... uh then what happened was I, I worked for free, and everyone has a limited amount of time to work each day, so I have to make a livable wage, and I have so many other things I can do with my time, like edit videos, which actually pays quite well. It uh, doesn't make sense to give you guys a live stream show if I can't support myself doing it. It's definitely nine. Definitely nine. Definitely nine. Definitely nine. Yeah, it's pretty sad the way it works. Ooh, wow, this one looks really good. How did this one get past me? I think this one's off-center slightly, but the back looks so good. That's going to go in this pile. That one looks good. Yeah, I mean, that one's got to be a nine. Sorry if my voice kind of oscillates here. I zoom in to look. I gotta say, even though these probably won't grade a 10, they look very nice, and many of these will grade a 9. You could even buy them and just tell me to grade them for you. I mean, you never know. Like, this one might actually come back a 10. I'll just put this in the 10 pile. Let's see. And this one. This one, actually, I would say those have a very thin chance. If they have a thin chance, I'll still try, because a 10 Lugia is so valuable. Look, I already decided that one was a 9. So these are all 9s or 8s. Deathpile says, I bought a base set unlimited Charizard from some sucker on eBay right after they posted it for 30 bucks and got it in its easily PSA 7 or 8 condition. Damn. Congratulations, man. Some sucker, huh? <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> some sucker. <laughs> got him. Oh man, listen to you. <laughs> uh, 
some sucker. I soaked them. <laughs> I took them to the cleaners. All right, here we go. I'm going to mark these. Uh, I think these are actually probably worth a little more than $5. They're going to go for $7, actually. So if you want one of these Lugias, they're $7. Probably worth more than seven even. But I'm pricing them low because I have so many. That price is subject to change, obviously, if I discover they sell for a lot more. These are probably nines, they are not tens. So these are very close to like the ones you would buy on eBay. So see, if I was an eBay dude, and I am, what I'd do is I'd list these on eBay and, and I'd, I'd say mint, shining Lugia, and uh, you know, the price would look good, but the reality is I, I combed through them very carefully for tens already. And you, the buyer, don't really understand that. And so people are overvaluing sometimes the value of the cards on eBay versus sealed product. Sealed product might actually give you a 10. See, this, what I just went through was sealed product. I, I went through sealed product and I might've pulled a few tens. So the sealed product, even though it's more expensive, it gives you a chance for actual tents. Yeah, pack fresh, near mint mint, exactly. So I've just combed through these very carefully for all the tents, and I promise you none of the ones in that other pile are tents, which is why I priced them so low. But these might actually have a shot at 10. And so what should the price on these be? Like this one, one of these over here, I think it's this one right here. I'm pretty sure this one's going to be a 10. I have a pretty high pretty high uh, valuation of it as a 10. Perfect corners and edges, perfectly centered, looking good on the front too. I will sell you this card right now for about $80. And I promise you none of them on eBay cost 80. But the reason I will charge you 80 is because I already know if I send this off to PSA, it will turn into a 10. And then these probably about 50 to $60 each. These are maybe 10s. I would call these about 9.5s, and they might favor in turning it into a 10, or they might favor in turning it into a 9. So these will probably be worth about $50 each, and I'm not even going to sell them to you. I'm going to send them off myself. See? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not interested in selling cards that can turn into $100. And that is why you have to be careful when you buy cards on eBay, because uh, eBay is not a good way to judge the cards. Holding the card in your hand and seeing the flaws on it is the best way to judge the real value. There's a Beckett 9.5 for $60 on eBay, but Beckett. <laughs> Beckett 9.5. Yeah, so that would be accurate then. So a nine, I, I consider these probably about a 9.5. So I said about $50, 50 to 60, because these haven't actually been graded. They might actually, one or two of them might actually magically turn into a 10 would be really nice if it did because then it would be valued at about a hundred and whatever it was like 120 or something somebody you got your apps open open it up tell me what a what tell me what a psa 10 shining lugia is going for eBay is around $88 with best offer. What? No way. Let me look. That can't be right. When I looked just the other day, they were going for more than that. Maybe somebody posted something. Shining Lugia. PSA 10 minus Japanese. You got to remove the Japanese ones, by the way, because these are English. Shipping lowest price. Excuse me, buy now. Oh yeah, there was one that was $94.95, but it looks like they might have just marked it down. STF Gaming, <laughs> he's a power seller. So how many does he have? He just has the one. So when that one sells, and it will probably sell for about $88, the next one will be $100, I see. And then after that one sells, really, there's only three available on eBay, and it looks like they're all coming from the same seller. Squeaks Game World. 
<laughs> this is a PSA graded card. So yeah, there's four available on eBay. One's going for 88, and once it's sold, the remaining ones are for 100 from the same seller. Meaning you can't you can't really go over to him and be like, hey, will you drop the price to compete with the other seller? He'd be like, what other seller? I am the seller. <laughs> so it's one guy selling three for 100 each. Okay, so yeah, about $100. I might have remembered them differently. I thought they were going for like 120. Put this one in the front here. So what do we got? One, two. So one of these for sure is probably a 10. And then the rest of these are probably nines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So pro <laughs> it's probably seven nines and one 10. And even that would probably be lucky for me. They're, they're very harsh graders at PSA is what I understand. Let's see what the nines are going for. Probably like 20 bucks. No, actually the cheapest nine is $35. Actually, that's that's very workable. I can do $35. I can go under that. I can go, I can go down to 30. Because I was I was just gonna sell these for seven bucks anyways. So I could do 30. Still make money. Cool. Oh, did I just receive a donation? What just happened there? Gerson, he says, thanks for, for getting me through these tough times, senior. I hope I can do more when I get another job. Oh, no problem, man. And thank you so much. That's very kind of you, Gerson. Another job, huh? Are you in Italy by chance? I don't know why. Your name makes me think that it's perhaps Italian. Gerson? Sounds like an... Oh, or a French name, maybe, actually. Gerson sounds French. I could be wrong. He says no. <laughs> well, there I am jumping in the... Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, I was way off. <laughs> so there we are. All those shining Lugias we were pulling. Ready to be sent off to PSA. We'll find out if they have a chance for a 10. Probably not. Uh, one more thing to grade are these Pikachus. I don't really know if I want to grade the Pikachus. If I do grade these Pikachus, they have to be the absolute best. I don't want any nines at all. Only tens. So we'll start by grading the back of the card. Looking for white dots. There's a white dot right there. So this one will not be sent off for grading. Throw them back into the pile. Okay, here we go. That one's a possibility. Let's see. That was a possibility too, actually. I threw away a lot of these Pikachus already. Ah, that's a nine. Clear nine. That's a clear nine. And that's a clear nine. And that's a clear nine. So these Pikachus will be $5 as well. I'll make the Pikachu uh, $4 actually. I don't really know what he's valued at. All right. These Pikachus are all probably nines at least, minimum. Take a look at these last two. So now we're going to examine, this is a holographic card, and we're going to examine any kind of scratches or, yeah, I see scratches on this one, so that's, that fails. Oh, that's a hairline scratch. They all failed. So none of these are going to be graded. I don't want any nines on the Pikachus. These are all probably going to be nines. I don't know how well he would sell. He's a, he's like a mascot Pokemon Pikachu, right? But that also means he's very kind of a common Pokemon that you see a lot of. So here's what we end up pulling from our Shining Legends promo collections. Some lovely Shining Lugias. Lovely uh, Shining Celebes for five bucks. Some lovely Ho-Ohs for five bucks. They all look nice. Dark Lord Pongo says, there's only one for sale from the Netherlands at PSA 10. I noticed that as well. Uh, I think it's a case where even though the de the uh, supply might be low, the demand is also low at the same time. So I'm not sure it would sell. Now, wait a second. I missed something. 
Hey Derek, do you remember if you shipped those two magnet cases? Yes, I did. All the mail has gone out and you were in there and the magnet cases went. I hope you're happy. They're on their way. <laughs> There's probably going to be slow shipping going on right now though. Think about it. Amazon is blowing up. Everyone's buying everything off of Amazon and off of Walmart online. So it's going to be like almost like Cyber Monday, if I had to guess. Everyone's ordering things off the internet now that they're staying at home. So this puts a lot of demand on shipping. And the places like UPS, USPS, who are not normally staffed to be shipping huge amounts of product in March, they're probably heavily understaffed and there will probably be a lot of shipping delays. I think I'm experiencing a shipping delays. My cards are still not in. Those booster boxes I ordered, still not in. It's uh, definitely should have come in today. So expect a little long on the shipping. It'll, it'll arrive. It's just another side effect of coronavirus. It's corona time. Beautiful, man. Look at all these. I'm excited to get these back from PSA, but I don't even know how long that'll be. PSA's taking forever. I'll probably see these in like four months. Death Pile says, what packs do you have for sale? Great question. Where'd my uh, price cards go? <laughs> oh, here they are up here. All right. I'm thinking of re rewriting these so they look nicer. We have Unified Minds we still have. Yeah, we still have some Unified. We're out of Cosmic. We're out of Sword and Shield. We have a decent amount of Unbroken Bonds, but it's actually going down. And when it goes down low enough, I'm going to raise the price on them because for me to buy more would be expensive. We're out of Guardian Rising. We're out of Sun and Moon Base. No, we still have some Sun and Moon Base set. We're running out of it pretty fast. What you guys need to understand about the Sun and Moon uh, booster boxes, you will see the price shift up on these as time goes by because they're out of print. All those Sun and Moon boxes are out of print. Udified Mines. Just leave the stream running with the price cards on the table and see how many purchases you have queued up when you wake up. <laughs> that would actually be pretty funny. <laughs> but yeah, so... All the unified, I'm sorry, all the uh, Sun and Moon cards are now out of print. They're, they're working on Sword and Shield. So these prices will definitely shift up over time. Team Up is not for sale. I'm just going to open the rest for myself. Shining Legends is three for $21. Hidden Fates is like three for 30 basically. So, and you can buy those one at a time if that's too expensive. I've moved to a one pack at a time model for those. Because those are pricey. Those got them pretty pricey. So let's see. Somebody bought Unified Mines, right? Is that what just happened? Dio, Unified Mines, please. Sounds good, Dio. Let's see what we got. Dio, the man with the luck. Simon Liu says, 24-hour live stream is awesome as it sounds. How are you staying up for it? Sleep is essential for maintaining good health. Oh, it was just kind of a joke title. <laughs> We're not gonna stay open. For, we're not gonna stay open for 24 hours. No way. <laughs> I have thought about muting the mic and leaving the live stream open, and then if somebody makes a purchase, I return and open their cards for them. <laughs> but I think that would be a bad idea. I think that would be a bad idea. I'll 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 turn the live stream into a watch quick quip sleep live stream. You guys want to watch Quick Quip Sleep for 24 hours? Well, she wouldn't stay asleep for 24 hours, would she? Just for 12 hours, right? <laughs> to watch her sleep and uh, throw donations at her. <laughs> so she has a good dreams. <laughs> Purloin, Joltik, Skaruppy. Oh, here you go. You pulled a full art on your fan. <laughs> Lucky Mega Sableye Tyranitar, too. I think that's your second one. I think that's the second one you pulled. And he is looking very PSA 10-ish. Very clean corners and edges. Good centering. Damn, dude. Getting lucky over here. Next pack? What do we got in the next pack? Luminion, Gabite, Tauros, Hoot Hoot, Scraggy, Numil, Tynamo, Poiple, Poiple, and Lipard. Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to be showing off the code card, am I? Not supposed to be showing off the code card. Did I win a PSA send-off from the lotto? 
No, unfortunately, that was just for the Mewtwo. Yeah, that was just for the Mewtwo. Uh, the Mewtwo card was so expensive, I couldn't offer anything else with it. I see what you were asking. Took me a minute there. I was like, what? <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> Save Lia Mungus. Yeah, he's really neat. He's high demand, and he is. Uh, he was the most expensive card that I had ordered, so I couldn't really afford to add anything else to it. Padov, Muna, Carablast, Unpheasant. Oh, one more wipe back, you say? This will be the secret rare, undoubtedly. Tornadoes, Jinx, Nova, Dratini, Fungus, Hone Edge, Sneasel, Ear Ringing Bell, and Magnazone. He's in the zone, auto zone. DL wants him set off to PSA. Very good choice. That's the same thing I would have done in this case. He's a great looking card. Doo -doo -doo. Let's jump over to, here it is, grading requests. So this time for the next submission, we will probably wait three weeks before the next submission gets sent out. And that's because we've definitely slowed down, probably because of the coronavirus, let's be honest. So let's see, this is going to say Unified Minds. Uh, Mega Sableye Tyranitar Full Art. There we go. All right, you've been added to the grading. Now let's get you into a card saver. Oh, that one was very easy. Very little friction on that one. Interesting. All right, I'm going to write DL there. Toss me that Magneton. No problem. There we go. <laughs> I'm so OCD. I'm trying to get him to sit kind of flat in the holder so that he looks presentable so that we can look at it. <laughs> Very cool. DL, you're going to have a lot of cool returns in four months. <laughs> have, I, have I mentioned that, that PSA is extremely slow? Have I mentioned that? I don't know if I've mentioned that before. Oh, give me a minute. Our music's about to stop. All right, that should reset it. It did. Cool. I need a new soundtrack. I've been listening to way too much Minecraft. Gerson says, these new cards look super, super shiny. They are actually. You want to see a close-up? We'll do a close-up for you, man. There you go, DL. Get you on the table there. Oh, look, an ant. You're out of here, ant. Oh, get over here. There we go. Oops. Where can I find a, a full art? A fancy one. Ooh, I'll show you a real fancy one. Ooh, here's my Charizard. So this Charizard is probably valued at about $500 if he comes back as a 10. I have not graded him yet, just because I like to look at him. I'm scared to actually touch him. So this Charizard is going for about $500 as a 10. He's from Hidden Fates. He's the reason Hidden Fates have gotten so exceptionally expensive. And people love that card. And this one looks like he could pull a 10 for sure. Clean edges, clean corners. I might as well put him in a card saver just to protect him. All right, so he's in a card saver too now. Great card. Yeah, I've just kind of had him sitting around. I haven't had him sent off for grading, but I will eventually. Ever tried Beckett? I was thinking about trying Beckett, trying for a Beckett Black Label. I'm pretty sure I won't get it though. <laughs> Beckett Black Label is ridiculous. Why don't you have it in a card saver? Well, I had it in a top loader and I was just enjoying looking at it. Yeah, maybe I'll send my Charizard off in the next uh, PSA submission. We'll have to see. 
one of the things I can't do, I can't mix them with anyone else's, so uh, who was it? Mahasvara had a Shining Charizard going off two rounds before this, so I couldn't send him then either. Send him, and I won't get to see him for like four months. <laughs> Some people are already going through that. That's correct, Death Pile. The centering left to right on the front looks a little off, so I don't think that Beckett would give it a 10. PSA might give it a 10. PSA, they're really comfortable giving 10s to cards that are off-centered in the front when they're full arts. I don't know if Beckett would be, so why bother? <laughs> All right, well, I'm basically done. I don't really have a lot of other things to do. We opened all those Shining Legends. You want to see You want to see just how many Shining Legends we actually opened? Take a look at this. It, it's hard to appreciate how mon many those are. Those are like basically like 30 boxes all empty. Okay, let's see if we can see Quip Quip from here. She's over there hiding. <laughs> opened a ton of Shining Legends. Um, I suppose I could open up a few booster packs for myself. Why don't we do that? I haven't done that tonight. Eh, we'll open up four of them. That's fine. I meant to grab five, but four is fine. With Team Up, I'm looking for the Gengar or the Pikachu Reshiram or the Eevee Snorlax. All three of those are solid pulls. I remember the Wall of Hidden Fates tins you had. That was madness, too. I opened all of those for myself, Dark Lord Pongo. Can you even believe that? I opened them all for myself. Not a single Charizard in that lot. Not a single one. Should have just sold them. Should have just sold them. My luck with Hidden Fates Charizard has just been okay. If you think about the number of packs I opened, I should have pulled one either way. One team up since times are hard. One team up? <sighs> Let me open up these. I wasn't going to sell any team up. <laughs> Execute, Larvitar, Shaman, and... Oh, cool. We got the uh, non-holographic Charizard. That's actually a sought-after card. Check it out. Cool. I'll put them up in my trading pile. Maybe somebody will want them. Next pack. Did not expect to pull them. Not at all. Two, three, four. We got Kangaskhan, Heliolisk, Sabrina, Voltorb, Vullaby, Dratini, Zorua, Nidoking, and Bronzong. If we can get the Reverse Hollow Charizard, that'd be nice too. I buy one team up right as you decide to open some. <laughs> Jinx, Imoga, Magikarp, Execute, Helioptile, Meowth, Magikarp, and Kabutops. Well, here's the deal. The uh, the team-up packs are kind of reserved for me. There's only one box left, and we'd be pulling from the same box. So I think that's a bad idea. <laughs> Nidoran, Mary, Pharisee, Charmander, Dewblade, and Aegislash. Wow, look at that. That's so cool. Both of them, Dewblade and Aegislash right there. Cool. Too bad they're not Charizard. <laughs> so I, I can't really do team up for you because, I've I, like I said, I've only got the one box and we're both pulling from it. And I think that would be a bad idea. Uh, you know, I, sh I showed it here and it should really be crossed out. Last time I showed, showed it, I said, I'm not actually selling them. They're, they're just going to be for me. What I can do is I can offer you a refund or we can put it toward a different set like Unbroken Bonds or maybe Unified Minds or Cos Well, we don't have Cosmic either, do we? <laughs> one team up since times are hard you want one pack of team up what could I offer you one pack of otherwise oh it's okay death pile it's not your fault that's my fault that's my fault I should have just marked it off yeah we'll, we'll get some new price cards written up so that things make more sense Weird. It's like the ants are coming from. It's almost like the ants are coming from the back wall somehow. And they're coming over to the window. Strange. My kids pull from the same booster box when they visit and they don't know the difference, but it hurts me inside a little when one of them gets good pulls and the other doesn't. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> cause you cause it's a all too familiar pain. Whoa! 
Break my bonds, please. Unbroken bonds. So before we continue, Death Pile, can I offer you maybe an unbroken bonds booster pack? It would basically be the equivalent. Or I can do a refund for you, or I can do an energy ticket, or I can do... You can hold on to the $5 and apply it to something else in another day. Whatever you want to do. He's like, oh, decisions. Let me start getting these bonds for you up while you side steal. Shining Legends. Shining Legends. Sounds good. There we go. And let's see what happens. Pack number one. Pack number two. Pack number three. Pack number four. Two dollars for the rare Zard. That's right. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> So these are for DL, and then we will open up a Shining Legends for Death Pile. Yes, it is. That is Minecraft. It is Minecraft. Crafting of the mind. Did you hear how good that was? Man, I've gotten good at that. <laughs> I will take Zard as a pity pull, says DL. I think he wants to buy your non-hollow Zard. Oh, uh, I would probably sell that non-hollow Zard for $5 if somebody wants it. Hey, there you go. You pull a card on the first uh, pack. Marshado Machamp. Actually, not bad. He's looking pretty well centered, too. Uh, one white dot on the top, though. Mm, might throw him into a nine. Might throw him into a nine. One white dot. Single white dot. What do we have? Molain. So, Clefairy, Caterpie, Inke, Porygon, Lickitung, Licky Licky. He's a chubby boy. I'd buy more, but I lost all my work due to you-know-what. You know what, Death Pile? I noticed the card stream slowed down in general, and I'm thinking it might be that people are sitting on their money a little more, or they were their job might have been affected. So, slow bro, Rhyhorn. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Hopefully, the stimulus package that the Democrats won't pass because they're Democrats... Hopefully, the, the stimulus package helps people out. The Democrats don't want to pass it unless it's full of a bunch of almost unrelated rules like there's like some rule that corporations have to hire women onto the board of directors stuff like that so they won't pass the stimulus package without all this extra crap like special interest crap i don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the news have you guys did you guys hear about that nancy pelosi nancy pelosi flies in from california and she tells chuck give schumer me give me that non hollow zard i'll do it i'll do it Sounds good, man. She flew in and she's like, Chuck, we're going to use this as an opportunity to push a bunch of identity politics. Watch them charge us interest on that loan. I'm an audio engineer and there's no events going on. So, oh, interesting. Yeah, that sucks, man. <laughs> Aaron, slow poke. So you would definitely be affected. Next pack. One, two, three, four. Stimulus equals extra bucks to buy Pokemon cards. Well, I think for some people, that's what they'll be able to do. Other people who actually did lose their jobs will probably need the money. Doobie-doo, Scooby, Doobie. We got Poly Swirl, Tora Cat, Metapod. Remember, nothing is free. There's no way they'll give out money for free. Well, I think they will in this case, but what'll happen is the country will be in higher debt. And really, when a country goes into debt, it's your money that has been used to give you the stimulus. So it's taxpayer dollars. It, it, it always is taxpayer dollars in the end, is my point. Um, but I think in this case, it's a little more justified than usual. Because the problem here is that the coronavirus is kind of like a natural disaster. So relief, you know, if, you can, if your country can sustain interest on a loan for immediate relief that protects the economy from having huge losses, then I think that is probably a smart move in terms of an investment for a, a country. The question is, how much is the right amount? 
and how quickly can we get the economy running again, which is the heart of the problem. How quickly can we defeat coronavirus? Hey, there we go. Hey, Restaurant and Charizard again. We saw this earlier tonight. Sweet. So you pull two GXs. Uh, looking pretty good. A very light dot down there and a very, very, very dot right there. Or a small dot right there. I think this definitely has a shot at a 10. I would call that a 9.5 that leans toward a 10. The other one had a pretty visible white dot. I think that one would end up being a, uh, a 9. But th that one might be a 10. And you got this lovely Charizard as well. And he looks pretty good too. See the artwork on him? Woo! Okay, I'll put this Charizard in the front. He's the coolest looking one. There you go. So we're at two hours and 16 minutes into the stream. We could wrap up here or we could keep going since this is a 24 hour stream. I'll open up, oh right, we gotta open up a pack for D, uh, for um, Death Pile. Good luck, Death Pile. Is Gengar rare now? I never had one. Gerson, Gengar has pretty much always been rare. There's some pretty valuable Gengars out there. Sabrina's Gengar is a great example of a rare Gengar, but so is the Fossil Gengar. First edition Fossil Gengar. Good luck, Death Pile. Hopefully you get a hot pull here. So you're only buying the one pack. Floatzel, Litten, oops, Larvesta, Breloom, Torcat, Plusel, Shroomish, Latios. No hot pulls. Uh, I could let you have that Latios if you'd like. Whenever you don't get any decent pulls, you're always welcome to take the hollows and the reverse hollows up to two cards. That's the point of the bulk list. Latios. Come on, you don't let me down. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> Google Masaki Gengar, also popular rare Gengar. Nice. I don't think I've seen that one. Here I'll open a I'll open two of the Shining Legends myself. This is a set I'm always interested in. I would love to pull the Mew or the Alternative Art Mewtwo or the Secret Rare Mewtwo. These are relatively fresh packs. They were just pulled from sets pretty well unsearched. Meaning no one's really been buying from them at all. The last dip into bonds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Raichu GX, not really that important. Pretty well centered. It's a nice GX card. I think the problem is there's too many of these generic looking GX cards. We need a really hot looking GX card. Really hot looking GX card. They gotta get creative with the GXs. Spiritomb, Instant Aurora, Sophocles, Zorua, Ivysaur, Torco, Larvesta, Minum, Fusel. Oh nice, Shining Volcanion. I actually got a hit here. So the Shining Volcanion, except we can tell right off the bat that he is off center. But you know what? The edges and corners look extremely clean on this card. I think I can send him off. Hmm. He's so clean that they could give him a 10. Oh, it's hard to say. I think he'll come back a 9. I think he's too off center. It's hard to say, actually. He's off center, but it's by a very small amount. But you know what? It looks like it's just enough to turn him into a 9. It's, it's, if it's visible with the human eye, it might be too much, you know? I'll place him there. I'll think about him. We'll think about him. DL going deep. He says, last dip into bonds. Sweet. Tell you what, DL, if you don't get a pull from these, I'm going to give you a bonus pack. White dot under the TM. What? Where? No, I don't see a white dot there. Let's see what you get. 
bonus pack if you don't get a hit right here. A hit would be a GX or a full art. You gotta move so you can do same grading, same day grading services. What? What are you talking about? How would you guys feel if I offered uh, cheap grading services with GMA or whatever? There, there's a company called like GMA that does same, uh, not same day. They, they do very cheap grading. However, you get what you paid for. They're not a very well known or popular grading company. So people, the question is, will people pay a premium if the card's been graded by GMA? And I was doing a little bit of research and they were, they occasionally sell for about as much as they would have sold for if they were like PSA graded. So I've been thinking about maybe trying GMA just cause they're cheaper. Competition is healthy. I was thinking about it. I was like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Imagine if you could pay as little as $5 five dollars to get your card graded would you do it i think you would i think a lot of people would grade cards they normally wouldn't grade ah is a hollow rare damn it tcc grading company open it <laughs> nah for me to <laughs> for me to do that i would have to um probably buy some big machine that puts them into the sealed cases <laughs> No, that would that business would go under. Oh, it looks like you do get a hit. You get the Blastoise GX. Nice. All right, picking up the Blastoise. Last pack. Two, three, four. GMA is cheaper, but do you think the cards will be worth as much? I don't think they will be. But the what's interesting is that you might be interested in grading a lot of cards you wouldn't have bother, bothered with in the past. Because the cheaping, the grading is so much cheaper, right? Like, wow. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting concept. It's something I've been thinking about a bit. Maybe if GMA gets a lot of business, they will uh, become more standardized and they will improve the quality of their, their grading. You see what I'm saying? So, like, let's say me, I'm, I'm clearly a big buyer, big card buyer right now, becoming pretty established. I don't want to say how much I've spent on these cards a lot. <laughs> Suppose every single card I ever opened got sent to GMA. Well, basically GMA, people would kind of like get used to it as more of a standard. Did Doug Trio have a wig? That's right. Let me show him this. <laughs> Did Doug Trio have a wig? <laughs> so this is a low in Doug Trio. In the future, the Pokemon games introduced this idea of region specific pokemon and those region specific pokemon have like a different form from the old pokemon the original pokemon and uh alone in ductrio he's a metal type rather than a ground type exactly <laughs> he's a metal type rather than a ground type and in this case it it's something like that's gold or metal i don't know <laughs> it's metallic whiskers are so heavy so it's not very fast but it has the power to dig through bedrock yeah, <laughs> very funny, actually. They've been doing that quite a bit. They did it with the uh, Sword and Shield game as well. There's like a Galarian Weezing, and he looks like a, a what, what would you say, like Victorian Times top hat or something like that. It's very funny. <laughs> Alone Duck Trio is amazing, even more amazing in the anime. Oh, you know what? I never really watch the anime these days. Maybe I should sometime. So... I guess the next thing I would have to say is that I'm not going to be shy. I'm going to put some more. And I'm going to open up two more team-ups for myself. And then I think now is a good time to wrap up the stream. I think my, back, my back's hurting from sitting too long. My body's telling me I need to stand up and stretch pretty badly. Hey, get out of here. You're not allowed over here. Sitting too long all day. In the anime, he uses its hair as an attack. What? That's too funny. Amolga, Staryu, Puchina, Geodude, Golduck, and Mimikyu. It's a nice looking Golduck. Steam Up Pack has been pretty stingy, actually. Well, it did give me the Charizard, I guess, so the Charizard's kind of cool. 
Dragonair, Unidentified Fossil, Rapidash, Litten, Grimer, Execute, Larvitar, Meowth, Water Memory, and... Oh, we pulled the Jirachi. Nice. Nice. Oh my god, I need to get this listed. What a beautiful card. Rudy says, live streaming tomorrow? Yeah, I, uh, I usually live stream every day. Although, I've been thinking about reducing the number of times we live stream the card stream. I've been thinking about going to maybe four days a week rather than seven days a week. And this will allow me to focus more of my time on good old Monster Hunter content. Monster Hunter World, my main content on my main channel. He says, maybe see you in a super late night Doom stream. Maybe. That's definitely a large maybe. There's other types of videos I need to be working on. I don't make any money from the Doom videos. Those, those types of videos rely, uh, live streams rely heavily on donations to make money. And if they don't make any money, I can't just be running three live streams a day and not earning anything. So they're more of a luxury. They're more of a luxury. They're more of an opportunity for me to stop and talk with you guys. And I got to go make me some money. <laughs> I got to go make, how am I going to buy Pokemon cards if I don't got any money coming in? I got to make, I got to go make some videos that, that give me good ad revenue. And uh, maybe just hope in the future that, People are feeling more comfortable with the economy in the future and getting back to donations. Anyways, sell packs while you play, says DL. That's right. I'll just keep this muted. I'll just keep this muted. And if, if people buy packs, then I'll come over and, and open the packs for them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, this is an interesting idea. It would almost be like a Pokemon card store that you could visit any time of the day, right? Online. <laughs> uh, and have your cards opened right in front of you. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.